My name is Scott Hagen. I am the founder of the Big Energy Project, which is a private foundation aiming to bring energy to places in the world that currently don't have it. I'm also the co-founder of the Big Education Project, which is bringing education in the energy buildings that I've built for people who don't have it. I've seen about two billion people on the planet that don't have access to power. So I, uh, I figured out a way to solve that. And um, building a few schools, I kind of turned away and, and asked the question, what are you teaching them now that they have power? Aimed towards refugees. I did some research. I, I really figured it wasn't very hard to uh, build a portable power plant, in essence. And um, had the money to do some tinkering around, got it built, put it in two containers, shipped it overseas, and now it's a school uh, that, that refugees use as a stepping stone before they get to the country that they're, uh, that they're heading to. It's so simple, it's actually frustrating to see that it's not being replicated, because really, everybody can have power everywhere, and everybody can have access to an education everywhere. And I think that would really make a big difference in the world. So I think what Ted's done for me, it's been four years um, of coming to the conference and people seek each other out. So if I'm looking for someone that's in the education sector to assist, I just type education in and there's people. And I can say, hey, would you like to help me building curriculum for the Maasai tribe in Tanzania? And I, and I get a response that says, yeah, you know, I actually know someone. If your aim is to give back or to help, um, there is no better conference than TED because that's the majority of the people that attend. They're really looking to give back and use their own resources in a positive way. I think anywhere you go in the world, um, the first thing you realize is the world's filled with humans, right? Which might sound silly, but the reality is, is we're all people. We all kind of look alike. We all kind of act alike. If you don't speak the language, one of the most amazing things about travel is a smile or pointing. You know, get you a lot of places. Uh, you get to learn so much about different people and their cultures. And I think overall, you really get to see that the world's a very beautiful place. 